Martin, are you there? Number 110.
wanasifiwe si mtoto wako akikosea unamkemea eh kuna watu wapo na watoto mtoto wako akikosea kosa unafanya ndio tusijali dadi mabiu sijali sidio ndio ndio na wafanye as why the present society may be bigger because to now eh dadi dadi usijali sijali acheka cheka tu but the family of god is a disciplined family therefore he wants every soul to be disciplined <coughs> that's why kosea na kuchapa anakukemea kwa ukali kabisa atakuchapa kiboko kizini so mtoto ambaye hajawahi ahachapi hajachapwa na mzazi <coughs> ajui chungu wa kosa that's why wanakosa tu bila kujali bwana asifiwe amen praise the lord amen are you getting me yes <coughs> uh, the, uh, i think i think of the people i'm seeing today only only brother tom and nora who are not in the church last sunday na 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 mwendwa na mwable ya yeah, kwa pasa there is to be what the here last time sin kwa so has the message uh, last sunday been repeated has it been repeated mm. has been repeated i don't know if brother tom was watching us online i don't know <laughs> <coughs> but <laughs> the message has been repeated if you talk about grudges last sunday we say we can't grow we can't develop we can't receive blessings with grudges did we yes, yes. so has it been repeated or not it has been repeated i was also being a mouth to someone who was not ready to stand here and pass the message someone among you seated among you came to me and told me this what i'm seeing grudges the judge i told the person why can't you stand up and speak to the judge bila unajua hiyo inahitaji hekima nyingi so i took it up bwana asifiwe So everything I said last Sunday before I shared my message last Sunday everything I share I share I was given by one of you seated among you Kaniambia Mungu anaonyesha kuna baraka in this church but we can't receive it because we have so many grudges among us so many grudges ya grudge mwana nana hakuna kusameheana i didn't want to tell you brother tom you shared that message with me but i didn't want to tell you so that i don't influence what god was giving when today when you are sharing with me i didn't want to share with you what we shared last sunday i didn't want to tell you hiyo message to be a son because I did want to influence what the spirit of God was talking to. So I wanted the spirit of God to speak openly. So the spirit of God has spoken. <laughs> did I tell you that we share that with him? Because I wanted God to speak so that you know God is speaking manners. So if he was not in the church and uh, he did not follow us online then on Friday was it Saturday morning Mungu anamkalisha kwa meza then anamletea the same things then it means God is looking at us God loves us 
God cares for us. God wants to bless us. He wants to change us from what we are now to be a different people. But <clears throat> for you to be changed and to experience all the blessings of God, you have to deal with those small things in our hearts. Those small things. When I see you. That's what the Lord God is speaking to us today. <clears throat> he wants us to deal with those small things. As I told you, I read somewhere, and it said it's, it's the small sins. It is the small sins that are defining us. Those that we call the small sins. One day, a pastor stood on the pulpit because people were coming in the church, but again they were scattering. Come, scattering. And the pastor was annoyed, was angry. And he stood on the pulpit and said, pointed the congregation and said, Kama kuna mwaja wen, tunakusani, naya natawani, tukikusani, naya natawani, huyo mtu, ainda akufi. Unajua mungu wata ufika saa hiyo ya ya asira. So the pastor was angry. Do you know? And was him ainda akufi. That week, one of his very close associates died. Mysteriously died. And the pastor was so sad. So sad because umu to mtumzuri sana, very close. Eh? But died. After barrio, someone came to him, told him, Chugaji unajua, yu mtu alikufa kia likuwa na tawanya. Kanisa. Pastor didn't believe it. But after some time, Pastor Kaona Church in Anza build up, Anza build up, Anza build up. I can do a great deal of good here, Kona Tawanya. And Kona Kambe Kuflan and Kona Panda Dania Wat. How you want to a room today? Nanda Nanda Kapsa. So, Mutua Kinyangeli and a Kibiri of Fanya Rafik. So pastor and Afkiria, who you know, who are follow up, so that you move to a small capital, come and panda me, we have to arrange it. That person died, and that person died. Kanza dianza kuongezeka, atu kuongezeka wakali, 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 wakali. The pastor kwa na kweli, kumbe we have to go very close. We are going to Tawanya. Ni smana ya pantangazi Kuyo mtu wa kufi Ito kuhitu wa kuhua Tuliitu wa kuhokoa Ito kuhitu wa kuhua, right? Ito kuhitu wa kuhua But I want to tell you As brother Tom Read a scripture Awa nyuwae mara nyinge akishupaza shingo lake. Gafla, yu mtu atafujika wala apati dao. You know, we may not declare, we may not declare, we yu mtu wakufi, we may not declare that. But God's judgment, mbae, when it comes, you can't stop it. When it is stopped, kikunya. Are we together? You say me, I am the same. You say? You know, operating in the spirit is very, very, very sweet. But at times, in an dig into people's lives, back on a ship, I say me, I will say. Now, here, as I come on, Adam, what has he feel? Grudges. He does God's answers. 
pledges, they hinder God's answers. So if God was to answer you, grant in a small in the way, and stop those answers to reach you. I want to ask you, I want to request all of us, by the grace of God, by the mercy of God, I want to request you. Last Sunday, there were two. Yo, the party an assignment. If there is anyone you are holding a grudge against, go to that person and ask for forgiveness and release that person. So, I'm asking you by God's mercy, by God's grace, ask God to give you the grace to forgive anyone who hurts you. Whether the Uduru did or lied, ask God to forgive. Ask God to give you the grace to forgive and forgive that person. I'm asking you by God's grace, forgive that person. Whether it is your husband, your wife, your child, your friend, or somebody even in the church, even if it is your pastor who has hurt you, ask God to give you the grace to forgive so that you are released. Otherwise, you will remain in bondage all the years. Unforgiveness keeps people in bondage. So dwell in bondage. You cannot experience the spiritual freedom that God gave us. Want to experience that freedom? Because where the spirit is, there is freedom. There is liberty. And God wants you to enjoy the liberty that is given by the Spirit of God. Wants you to enjoy the freedom that is given by the Spirit of God. But that liberty, you can't enjoy the liberty until you release the burdens that are in you. Release those burdens. Release the burdens you are carrying so that you are free in your spirit. Otherwise, you will not enjoy the freedom. What does it feel? Am I talking to people? Yes. Replace that hatred with what? With the land. Now, we are minding one another these things. I know the, the cause, <coughs> the cause the service has taken does not allow me to preach the message I was to preach or teach what I was to teach. But uh, we go by the Spirit of God. Where He leads, we go. Right? So we are going the direction the Spirit of God is leading us. Now the Spirit of God is leading us to a direction here. Because there's a blessing that God wants to release in this church and to each one of us. Buena as if you. Buena as if you. You know, <coughs> when people pull apart, it means, number one, they don't trust one another. When they pull apart, it means they don't trust one another. And that means there's something you are holding against another person, which I don't know, or you may know, or you may not know. Uh, but there's something between you. If you can't agree with me, then there's something between us. And this is the
there something that we need to deal with? And somebody said, is it, is, did I hear well? Did I hear well? Grudges leads to witchcraft. Did I hear well? Yes, yes. Uh, grudges lead to? That's where people now start consulting other powers to subdue another person. You want to subdue them. You want to dominate them. You want to control them. Because you have a grudge. Now you want to control this person. You want to put that person under your feet. Then witchcraft comes in. Now, is witchcraft, do we, do we perform witchcraft only when we visit a witch doctor? Is there any other way we can practice witchcraft? We suggest what? Thinking in of somebody uh -huh. as a way of witchcraft. Cursing, correct. Cursing people. That's witchcraft. Have you ever cast somebody in your heart? In your heart, you have just cast. What is a curse? A curse is a word or a thought. An evil, let me add the word evil. An evil word or a thought intended to hurt or to harm somebody. That's a curse. So when you have such thoughts, you don't wish somebody well. You, you envy somebody. You are jealous of somebody. Then you are practicing witchcraft. Right? There are labels of witchcraft. So that's a label of witchcraft you are practicing. Because this person cannot break through because you are holding that person. So you are dominating the person. You are controlling the person by your thoughts, by your words. Then there's a level where you, are, you now start consulting witch doctors, evil spirits, familiar spirits. Start consulting just to put somebody under control. That's a kind of witchcraft. So, grudges leads to witchcraft. We start bewitching one another in the church. And this is prevalent. It is in the church of Christ, all over the world. God is not happy about it. God is not happy. Jesus said, when he was living, going back to the Father, he said to us, this is my commandment, to love one another. That your joy may be full. Praise the Lord. Amen. Then he said, the world will know that you are my disciples, that you are truly my disciples, if you do what? If you love one another. The world will know that you are truly my disciples, if you love one another. So, love must rule among the children of God. Not grudges, not hatred, not envy, not jealous. Love must rule. Praise the Lord. Amen. The love that, <coughs> that the scripture talks about here is the love of God. Is a name given to that love. In Agape love. The love of God. The unconditional love. You love somebody irrespective, despite the way he looks like, or whatever he is. You just love the person. That's the love of God. And that's the kind of love God has upon us. We don't deserve to be alive today. We have committed many sins that 
that those that can be counted. We have, we have offended God in many ways, but He still loves us and gives us another chance, another day to repent. He just gives you another day to repent because He loves you. I stood here one day and said, God does not want anyone in hell. He does not want anybody in hell. But he wishes that all of us, he desires that all of us end up in heaven. But a choice has been given. You choose what you want, right? God is not forcing you to do what he wants you to do. He's not forcing you. But it's for your own good. If you do good, it will benefit you as an individual. One as a few. It will benefit you. Hallelujah. Amen. One as a few. Amen. One day I was teaching in my class and I told my pupils, I was just at counseling and advising. They asked him, why do you think your parents brought you to school to learn? They wanted to hear some answers. And one of the people who said, so that we can help them when they are old. Do you think that's the reason why parents took you to school? So that you can help them when they grow old. So I told them, some of your parents have organized themselves. They know what they will eat when they retire. So they will not need your help. So why did the parents take you to school? They took you to school to your own benefit. It is you who will benefit. When as if you. So, when the Lord rebukes you of sin and tells you, this is wrong, do the right, do you think it will benefit God if you do the right thing? It is you who will benefit. You will benefit. Because the Father knows what is right for his child. So he knows what is right for you. He knows what you should do to your benefit. You will not benefit God. God can do without you. But you cannot do without him. When he created the earth, where were you? Did you help him to create? When he created you, did you help him to create you? So that's what I'm telling you. He can do without you. But you cannot do without him. So don't be rude. Don't be rude to God. When he tells you stop this nonsense, stop it. When you continue doing it, it means you are being rude to God. So, rudeness yako kwa mungu inaeza kusaidiani. So, grudges, let's get rid of them. Am I talking to people? Yes. Let our hearts be emptied of those things. Let them be emptied of those things. That's what God is telling us. I tell you, God loves you. God loves you. That's why He's speaking to you, us. And he's revealing things to us. And uh, if he spoke to us last Sunday, <laughs> and he has spoken, repeated the same things today, it means we have not dealt with it. Because if we had dealt with it last Sunday, we would not have reminded Pastor Tom of the same. He was not here. What does he feel? One as if you. Amen. God is our Father. God is your Father. 
Does he love you? Yes. <laughs> Listen to this. Jesus said, the world shall know that you are truly my disciples if you love one another. Now the world should know that we are Jesus' disciples. And that love should be seen in our midst. Now, he was not talking about the people of the world. He was not talking about them. He was talking to his disciples. Those who are accepted to follow him. Then he said to them, the world shall know. That means the people who are not saved, the people who have not believed in Jesus, will know that you are truly the disciples of Jesus Christ. Once they see the love that is between you. Now you'll not go telling them I'm a disciple of Jesus Christ. You'll not tell them we are disciples of Jesus Christ. They will see the love. Jesus said when they see that you love one another. Not when you tell them. But when they see that you love one another. So they will see the love. So the world should see the love among Christians. For the world to come to Christ, they must see the love. If we don't portray the love, then what is it? We are just of the world. Are we there? If we don't display the love that God gives, then we are just of the So we are those in the world are no different. We are the same. Hallelujah. Amen. Na kuchokora au na kusaidia. Sometimes jiga, jiga inatolewa kwa uchungu, sio? So that your leg can feel peace. Praise the Lord. Amen. <coughs> so, if I'm going to carry grudges, can I stand before people and say, I'm a disciple of Jesus Christ? You see, it is very easy. It is not difficult. It's not difficult to walk the path of righteousness. It is not difficult. Why? Why is it not difficult? It's because we have a helper. A helper who is helping us to walk that path. So we are not walking it alone. We have a helper, the Spirit of God, who is helping us to walk the path of righteousness. Where there are pitfalls, where there are dangers, he wants us. He tells you there's a danger here. Please obey his voice. When you obey his voice, then you save your soul. If you don't obey his voice, you get into trouble. You get into trouble with the world, you get into trouble with God. What has he feel? And the devil will be rejoicing because he has won another soul to himself. Praise the Lord. Amen. What has he feel? Amen. <coughs> Hata kwa mbia mtu, wache kibuli. Ambia mtu. Haa, mimi ndio naambia mtu. Mimi ndio naambia mtu, wache kibuli. Una mtu wako naambia. Na unajitua. Azema na mnaga uwache kiburi uwache kiburi kabisa What does the scripture say humble yourself do what humble yourself Please never pray God humble me That's a wrong prayer you are making You are praying against the scripture I have once prayed so 
And I read the scripture again and I discovered I was praying a mistake. Because the scripture says, God humbles the proud. And the scripture says, humble yourself before the Lord. And he will lift you up. So you better humble yourself. Now watch it, boom, stop pride. Remove that pride from your heart. When the Spirit of God rebukes you and you refuse to change, you are displaying pride before God. That's the pride you are showing God. You are showing God that who I am. Ni maisha yangu. Kwaani nisifanyie maisha yangu vile nataka. Okay. Wewe maisha yako kweli? Wewe una maisha? Una maisha kweli wewe? Hii Mungu akiamua ku blow off that ka life unasema my life. Hapo. Uta ringia kwa kaburi. Taanza kuringia kwa kaburi. You don't have a life. That life you have belongs to to God. And the compassion to He has lent you that life today. If He decides to take it away, you have no say. If people had a say in their life, then the rich people will not die. The wealthy people will not die. The well connected will not die. They will not die. But now the richest fellows, even if they walk around with their heads lifted up high, they are bragging over the life they have been lent by God. When God decides to take his life from you, you have no say. Whether you have billions and billions in the bank that you can buy. There are people even who go when I toy the all, all the blood when I can new blood. My skill. And I told you what done. Muta naenda muta naenda na na kwa mfano nilisikia mwingine alikuwa na ukimwi. Kwa na ukimwi akaenda hospital. Ile damu ya ukimwi yote ikawa removed akawekewa mpya. Fresh blood ile ina ukimwi. But it's still Apatikana na mkimu. <laughs> My friends, what you need? Kibudi what? Kisikia na kuambia hiyo, na kuambia wa sababu roa mungu wa nasema. Nanyisha watu wa pawa na kibudi. Ndiyo hile, 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 hile. Hile, hile na kibudi sana. Ana vila na maangalia. <laughs> <laughs> well, as you do. When this, the Lord rebukes you and you refuse to change, then that's pride. <coughs> so, Anasema Wajani Kibul. Well, as you do. Kuna mambo mengi nazuia hapa. Muta sinielewe vibaya. Because ya nateremu katu hini. Sikia hii maandiko. This book, we read it time and again, we repeat, we repeat, we repeat. There is one scripture I start with in the book of I think it's second Peter where Peter says <clears throat> I'm not reading that one now but I'm paraphrasing where Peter says I'll always remind you these things though you know them I'll always remind you these things so <clears throat> I want to remind us these ones which were said by Paul 
then I shall finish, I shall conclude them. It says like this. <clears throat> that's first Corinthians party. It starts with that's the, 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 the chapter of love, the whole of love. And love <clears throat> is the greatest gift one can ever have. And that's a gift every child of God must have. Love. Jesus summarized all the commandments into two. And you can summarize those two commandments into one. See you. Can we summarize it to what? So the commandment that Jesus gave was love. Love. Say, love the Lord your God with all your strength, with all your might, with all your mind, with all your heart. The number two, which is like the first one, love your neighbor as you love yourself. You love your neighbor the way you love yourself. Then, <coughs> Paul, before I mention Paul, John, 1 John, which chapter? It's chapter 3. says, those who love, no God. Those who do not love, do not know God. They have never known God. So if you don't love your brother, your sister, it means you have never known. So that means don't brag around, don't boast because you have never known God. Because you know that. Now remember, I hear a heart saying, I want to answer. When Jesus talks about love, In the book of John, chapter 16, the last verse, verse 33 says, In the world you have trouble. In the world you have trouble. But be of good cheer, I have overcome the world. John, the gospel according to John, chapter 3, verse 16 says, For God so loved the world. That he gave his begotten son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God so loved the world. Are we together here? Yes. Now, I'm answering a soul that is asking me a question. What when I need nini nini? Need to come here. Unaezaje kupenda watu ambao hawakupendi? Watu wanakuchukia unaezaje kuwapenda? Mimi sina mtu ananijali, sina mtu ananipenda. So what happened to Jesus? He's preaching to his own people and they are calling him Belzebub. The king of demons. But he still loves them. So irrespective of what people think about you or, or what people do about you, the commandment of God is love one another. Love them. The commandment of God is love. Full stop. So we cannot change God's command to suit us. It remains his command. Love. And if you want to be safe, go by the commandments of God. Do what he commands you to do. Say what he commands you to say. That's, that, that means you'll be safe. One as if you. Then 1 Corinthians 13.
is the whole of love. It talks about love. But I want to pick verse 4, 5 and 6. It says, Love suffers long and is kind. Love does not envy. Love Now my eyes are dead. Love does not boast. Love does not parade itself. It's not puffed up. Love does not behave rudely. Does not seek its own. It is not provoked. Thinks no evil. Does not rejoice in iniquity, but rejoice in the truth. Bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. So, I, I just beg that you go and read that chapter in your own time and ask the Holy Spirit to teach you about this love. Because if we don't follow it, we shall keep grudging one another. We shall keep holding grudges shall keep gossiping and talking ill of one another. And that's what God is seeing among us. These are my children, but this, there is this, there is this, there is this. There is this. Brother Tom, I'll tell you. So you are not coming in the open, but it's not secure. It's not secure, Kwambari. Not secure. Oh, flan ali zema. Oh, flan ali fanya. Oh, flan, flan, flan. Praise the Lord. Born as if you. Amen. Are you getting me, my 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 good friends? Yes. yes. Get these things into your spirit, because God loves you. May I, ask you, may I ask you a question? Ladies, can we put you together and uh, have you do some things in common? Are you sure? Yes. I've really tried to put you together and do some things in common, but it has never moved. Why? Because kuna tuvitu tuvitu, sio? Yes. So tuvitu tuvitu, go and deal with them. From today, go and deal with them. You can't work together because kuna tuvitu tuvitu. <coughs> tuvitu tuvitu. Wanaume, can you work together? Yes. Ah. Wanaume, amuna tuvitu tuvitu. Are you sure, men? Wanaume, tuvitu tuvitu. <laughs> now, if we can't work together for a common goal, means kuna tu vitu watu ambao hawana tu vitu tu vitu katikati yao they can work together for a common goal they don't care who is going to benefit but when we work together as a team the word team ebuja za hilo neno team t stands for Okay. Together, uh -huh. <laughs> together, everyone achieves more. Together, everyone achieves more. As a word, the team. So when we work as a team, you know, we are a team of football. They work together for one goal. What is the goal? Washinde. Washinde ile kombe. And therefore they have to coordinate because it is going to benefit all of them. The word is a football team, it a part of equal share. Because you all worked. You coordinated well. 
and therefore they have to put to put aside their differences. When I'm ref, me me I'm fupi. When we on a ricket, me me see na ricket. They put those things aside, and they work for a common goal. That trophy. Na sisi tuna trophy tuna ngania. Manajo yo trophy. Ikoa. Farmer be good. Nangania your trophy. So let's work as a team. Together, everyone achieves more. Ukiona ni melemewa, si unitie nguvu. Padela kunisenge. Nitie nguvu. Kuja uni strengthen. Nipatia manena kunitie nguvu. Usiende kukana fulani mahali uanza kusengenya oh, muliona. Muliona pasta. Hey, leo kutilaki likuwa imeka haje. You are not discussing kuninunulia suti. When you are discussing vile kutilaki likuwa imeenda kombu. Anakaa amechapika siku hizi. That's not fair. Just giving an example. And I'm giving an example to myself. That's not fair. Ukiona mwenzako na kalama hapa ya uchafu ufanya nini? Panguze kwa upendo. Panguze kwa? Upendo. Kwa upendo. Mambia my sister, my brother, there is some other spot here. Mapanguze. Na toka. Usiende kukana mtu unaanza, oh, muliona, muliona. Hey, who you flani? Hey, hey. Ah, ah. Wewe, you are, you are doing the work of the devil. Kifanya hivyo, you are working for the you are an agent of the devil. Eh? Yule, yule, nilipeana mfano wa mchungaji, alika sema huyo mtu wa kufes, yu? Huyo mtu alikuwa very close to the pastor. Pastor alimpenda sana. No, no, this, this, this gentleman, this, 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 this gentleman is very good. But what happened? When has he feel? Amen. Yeye yeah, alikuwa anangojea tu mtu akisonga karibu na mchungaji anaenda kumfitini na mpanda mbegu na mrusha nje na mpanda mbegu na mrusha nje don't be somebody like that in the church unajiletea laana unajiletea mapigo I hope we have understood Tumere Naona wengine wenu mnataka kuondoka stop there. So from today, let us go and change. Tutabadilika, sidi? Next Sunday, mungu hata sema tena kuhusu grudges, eh? Hata kuhundia kuhusu hatred. Sidi? Am I talking to people? Yes. Yeah. So now, hata sema congratulations, my children, my daughters, my sons, you have done well. And we shall be very happy. Then blessings zitakuwa released. You know when God treats you treats you as a family, there's a reason. So He's treating us as a family. There's a reason. God loves you. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Praise the Just want us to just lift our voices unto the Father and just tell Him, Father, give me the grace to forgive. Give me the grace to forgive. And always make sure you forgive, even when you are offended. Always look for a chance to forgive. Just lift your voice unto the Father. Just tell Him, Father, forgive. Give me the grace to forgive. <coughs> Lord, we come to you in the name of Jesus. We ask that Lord Jesus Christ, you will grant us the grace to forgive. Give us forgiving hearts that may forgive all who offend us, all who, 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 
Those who offend us, Lord Jesus, I pray today, Father, yes. help us to forgive. Give us the hearts to forgive, Lord Jesus. Give us the grace to forgive. Lord, in our own strength, in our own power, we can do nothing. We can do nothing in our own power. But we need the grace of God. We need the grace of God that we are able to forgive other people, Lord Jesus Christ. We thank you and we bless you, mighty God of heaven. We worship you, Lord Jesus Christ. We glorify your great name because, Lord, you care for us. And you speak unto us mightily and gloriously. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we thank you today. We bless you this day, O oh Lord Jesus. Thank you for the blood that was shed. Thank you for the power and the grace of the Spirit of God. We worship you, Lord Jesus Christ. We give you grace. We give you praise. We thank you, Lord Jesus. We thank you, Lord Jesus. We thank you, Lord Jesus. We thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father, for all that you do. Thank you for the grace. Thank you for the grace, O Lord Jesus. Thank you for the grace, O Lord Jesus. I give you praise. I give you praise. I give you praise. I give you praise, Lord Jesus. We honor you, Lord. We honor you, Lord. We honor you, Lord Jesus Christ. We honor you, King of Kings and Lord of Lords. My one of Israel. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank you this day that you have spoken to us that Lord Jesus Christ we can stand to declare that Jesus is he who he claims to be. Father we thank you for this day that you've spoken to our lives, to our minds, to our hearts that Lord we should change and become children of the almighty God. And Father we are asking that today Lord you'll show us the way, you'll reveal yourself unto us O Lord Jesus Christ. And Father, we ask that, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, that the Spirit of God come upon us and give us the grace to forgive, hearts to forgive other people and those who offend us. Lord, we pray in the name of Jesus Christ that will touch our lives and change us and mold us and make us your own people. We thank you, Father. Thank you for this day. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ, because you are a mighty God. We pray for those in need. Lord Jesus Christ, that you'll provide for them, that you'll provide answers, Lord, for whatever they are asking. Lord Jesus, I pray, provide answers. Lord, we shall give you praise. The sick in our midst, Lord, we pray for healing in their bodies. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, let them be healed in the name of Jesus. We shall praise you. We shall glorify you now and forever. We shall give you praise. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Be with us now. And forever lord even as we part back to our homes we ask that the grace of god shall abide in us now and forever because you're our father in jesus name we pray amen, amen. may the grace of our lord jesus christ and the love of god and the fellowship of the holy spirit be with us now and forever amen god bless you all god bless you um thank you for coming come on